On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the Bontrager R2 tire in a 700 by 25 c variant. The Bontrager R series tire is the performance line from Bontrager and the R2 is sort of a mid-level setup. So these are gonna go all the way from a Bontrager R1 entry-level tire to an R4, which is a race day, super fast rolling tire. The R2 gets some of the upgrades of going to a lighter weight tire but still retains both some of the cost effectiveness of a lower end tire, but also some of the durability of one as well. So when we look at this Bontrager R2, one of the things that's gonna kind of set this apart is at a relatively inexpensive tire, uh, the ride quality is gonna be quite good. And how they do that is this tire is gonna be set up with a 60 TPI casing. So it's a relatively soft casing, but they're gonna add some durability to it by running what they call their hard case light tread protection. So right through the center of the tire, it's gonna have the hard case light protection. So that's gonna help against punctures or things going through the tire. And then the sides are gonna be that 60 TPI casing, which is actually pretty durable on its own, but it's gonna allow for a little more suppleness than say a wire bead or a stiffer tire. Now the 700 by 25 C version that we're looking at is in the middle of the lineup. These are gonna come in both 23, 25, 28, and 32 millimeter tire setups. And this tire can actually run up to 125 PSI, while higher than you would expect, but that's a good sign because that means that this is a very high quality tire. Now, one of the ways that they make this a little less expensive than say it's R3 Cousin, is that the entire tread in the center is gonna be 60A durometer. So 60A is, is both very grippy, but it's also gonna be durable at the same time. 60A isn't gonna wear away too fast, and it's gonna end up being a good mixture of grip as well as longevity to the amount of time that you can get out of this tire. Well, let's go ahead and see what this tire measures out to on a rim, and then we'll place it onto a scale to see what it weighs. So we've got the tire mounted up on a rim with a 19 and a half internal width, and you'll see this tire inflated to 100 PSI is gonna come in at a wider than expected 27.22 millimeters. Finally, the Bontrager R2 700 by 25 is gonna weigh in on our scale at 246 grams. Well, thanks for watching this video on the Bontrager R2 tire. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below what you think about this tire, hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this into the future. And as always, click the like button if you enjoyed the video.